Hello everybody, Misbah from Wakelet here and today I'm going to show you how to get started on Wakelet within five minutes. Now, Wakelet is an incredible platform with hundreds of different ways that you can use it, but today I'm going to focus on the basics. Let's jump right in. So before we begin, I'm going to show you this document. I'm sure many of you have been sent something like this before, a document filled with hyperlinks, okay? The problem with this is that you can't see what's underneath them, they've not been arranged very well, and let's face it, they're quite dull and not very engaging. Well, what this would look like in Wakelet is this right here. So I'm currently creating a collection on the pyramids. It's something that I'm interested in right now, and I want to share these resources with my learning community. So I've gone from taking these links and just pasting them into a Wakelet collection. And as you can see, any kind of link from the web is going to be displayed here. And if it's something interactive, like a video or a tweet or something like that, it's going to show exactly how it should be shown um, if it was being viewed in its native format. So I've got a Google Maps here, uh, I've got a SoundCloud uh, podcast, I've got some different articles, a tweet, and that kind of thing. And doing this is really, really easy. If we head back to that uh, bunch of links over there, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this YouTube video, right click it, copy it, I'm going to go back to Wakelet, click this little plus button here, paste it in, and now that YouTube video is going to embed into that collection. Now this is really important because I get a chance to organize this content however I like and there's a lot of power in bringing together lots of different pieces of mixed media and showcasing them all in the exact same area. I'm also going to go ahead and just move things around a little bit. Let's say I want this one further down. I can change that, move it up and down. I can also edit things as well. So in this uh, YouTube video, I can go ahead and click the edit button and I can change this and add something for content. So let's say, uh, watch this video first. This is really good for instruction and adding context to links as well. I've got lots of different uh, formats and layouts that I can choose. So I just click here, click change layout, and I've got compact view, grid view, mood board, but it all depends on the message, the story, the kind of content that you're getting to, trying to get across. Now, once I've created this collection, I can go ahead and change the settings from private to unlisted or public. Now, when a collection is private, that just means that only you can see it and the people that you invite to the collection can see it. Unlisted means that only people that I share the link with can see it, and public means that the collection is publicly available available online and everybody can see it. I'm going to go ahead and change this to public and click done. Now this is the really cool part. There's so many different ways to share a Wakelet collection. So all I have to do is click this share button up here and I'm prompted with many different ways that I can share. Now most people just choose to share the collection through a link. So I just copy this link, paste it over to somebody, then I've got a hundred links in one link. Okay, that's a hundred links in one link. That's a really important thing. I can also export as a PDF and I can embed this into my own website, uh, into my own blog or wherever it is that I want to embed it. Another really cool thing about Wakelet is I can invite people into this collection. By just clicking the invite button here, I can either send them this copy link, that they then join, and they don't even need to have an account or be logged in to actually contribute to this collection. But it's an amazing way to help people join this collection, add their own thoughts, their own ideas, their own responses, and that type of thing. So that is the very, very basics of how to create a Wakelet collection, but I'm going to move on real quick and show you three of my favorite examples of how people are using Wakelet. And bear in mind there's hundreds, but these are just three of my favorite. So the first is using Wakelet as a newsletter. Now Brandy Reams is an educator. She's using Wakelet as a, uh, as a newsletter. So every week she creates these beautiful collections that she shares with the wider school community. And it's an amazing wrap up of the week. She's got a Flipgrid video. She's got some of the week's goals written there. And then she's got all these awesome resources as well, which are great for independent learning and that kind of thing. We've also got a Flipgrid video uh, embedded in Wakelet as well. So we've got an integration with Flipgrid Shorts where you can actually record Flipgrid videos directly into Wakelet. Really, really awesome. Secondly, I've got Anora Ellis. This is an amazing example of a digital portfolio on Wakelet for a student, a freelancer, or anybody looking to showcase the best work that they've done throughout their career. So this is a Wakelet profile, which everybody gets, and Anora's organized this in an incredible way. She's got her personal resume, contact, achievements, her school, video creations, graphics, and that kind of thing. And it's an incredible way to really get to know who Anora is, and she can send this off to um, college admissions departments. She can use it to get a job. Um, or you can just use it to showcase the amazing things that you've done. 
Last one is uh, Edward van der Sample's Civil Rights uh, Collection. Now, this is an amazing way for you to, to create these interactive, engaging lesson plans on Wakelet. As you can see, it's got instruction, it's got videos to provide some context, it's got some more instruction through a Flipgrid video, and that's about, I think we've got eight seconds left, so I'm gonna wrap it up now. There's so many amazing ways that you can use Wakelet. Those were just three. Get started today.